my dad was talking to my mom and said, well, should we get them status cards? And I said, status cards for what? And he said, you do realize you're like indigenous. I am right there. So when you were in grade nine, that's when you found out you were Métis? Yes, so grade nine was kind of a turning point for me. So I found out my heritage and that was also when my back injury started. I had a slip disc in my back, which caused it to press on a nerve that went all the way down my leg. It was chronic pain for three years, and I still played basketball. I still went to school for six hours. After basketball, it just hurt so much more, but I wanted to keep playing. She was a very courageous young lady, I think, to keep trying so hard even all through this. And, and it's too bad. I think uh, if we could have had her on our team last year, I think uh, we'd have far greater success. And I think. Uh, you know, I think it was really kind of sad that she couldn't participate with us. I got corrective surgery and I'm fixed now, but um, I couldn't finish my senior year of basketball. Feel a bit weird? Yeah, last time I was in here, like, I didn't think that was going to be my last time. I'm having memories in here. So this was the start and end of my basketball career. All happened in this little circle. My very first game was played here. I remember coming into the circle. I had no idea what I was doing. I had an advantage because I was very tall compared to the other girls. So I won the tip off and um, that was the start of my basketball career here. Yeah, so there's us. This is when we went to Hawaii. I'm right there. Well, we played that game at the Hawaii Pacific, uh, or Hawaii Baptist School. Some of the girls on the teams were talking about their, like, they were Native, and um, none of them knew about Native American culture. <laughs> I think I asked them, and they had no clue. But I think there was sort of an understanding when I did tell them what it was, that, like, we also got colonized, we also are not connected to our culture, and there was sort of that, like, understanding. Now that I didn't have basketball distracting me, I needed something else to kind of latch on to, and that's where my Métis culture took place, you know. I remember this powwow. I think when you know where you come from, there's this sense of belonging, similar to a team or a family, and you see that in the school with the students who are involved in, in what we do here, that maybe outside of our activities, um, everybody's an individual, but when we come together as a group, it's like a, a small little community within the school. What's your heritage? I'm Métis. You're Métis as well? Yes but I never grew up with any sort of culture, so it was only when I started working as an Aboriginal youth worker that I started looking more into my heritage. It's a good connection with the students who are just learning to be learning together. I think this was like one of the first powwows I actually ever attended, and it was, I think it was just really cool, and I remember I think I helped set up one of their booths, yeah. think, and he had the blankets, and um, yeah. I think he said to me, I think he said, if you help set up my station, I'll give you a blanket for 50% off. But I was like, I know, I'll just help you. They're always hustling. Yeah. This is the Métis booth. There's the flag there. There's some sashes. And I think I bought my very first sash here, actually. I think my mom bought it for me. They really had a sense of community, and it just made me want to have a part of that. Annalie is attending the Sauter School of Business at the University of British Columbia. Now that I'm at UBC, I have a group of friends there now and we're sort of starting our own little community of Indigenous kids and that, that really helped me move on from the sadness that I couldn't play basketball to sort of hope for the future and you know, my future doesn't include basketball but it includes something else that's a lot more important to me I think. I'm Annalie Wells and I'm proud to be Métis.